First up, a story PIX11 News was first to report, one that was later picked up by television stations and newspapers across the country. Well, now PIX11 is first with the explanation of how highly sensitive confidential police information somehow managed to land in the laps of spectators at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. James Ford is live at Nassau County Police Headquarters in Mineola with exclusive new details. James? And Jody, this story really went international. And now we're the first to let you know that that confidential confetti, as it's been called, well, apparently it came as an inside job. I just completely in shock that, well, how can anyone have this type of sensitive information? Um, and why is it being shredded and being distributed at the Thanksgiving Day Parade? That question is exactly what the Nassau County Police try to answer now. And the question came from Ethan Finkelstein, a college freshman who went to PIX11 News for help after he found shreds of confetti at the parade that contained highly sensitive information like this. There are phone numbers on it, addresses, more social security numbers, license plates, numbers, and then we find like all these incident reports from Police and police officers' names, badge numbers, even banking information were also on the shredded paper confetti. A PIX11 investigation quickly concluded that the confidential confetti came from the Nassau County Police Department. And now, PIX11 News is the first to tell you how this snafu happened. It was apparently a blunder by someone in the police department. Police sources close to the investigation into the incident tell PIX11 that an off-duty police department employee who went to watch the parade first removed shredded paper from a police facility for his family to use as confetti without realizing that the shredded documents were highly sensitive. They even included information about Mitt Romney's motorcade from when he debated President Barack Obama at Hofstra University last month. This was really shocking. It's the result of a probe launched by Nassau County internal affairs investigators who first became aware of the problem when PIX11 started asking questions. Investigators went to Finkelstein's home to collect and analyze the highly sensitive confetti, but only after Finkelstein's father called them. It's so strange that we're standing there and this paper's everywhere and all you have to do is lean over, pick, down, pick up a piece and there was something strange on it. So now the very personal information of undercover detectives and other cops is out there and even though we won't show its details, some of them could have fallen into the wrong hands. We tried contacting some of the detectives whose personal information was among the confetti, but no answers and no comment from the unions representing them either. So the last word comes from the family that found this information along the parade route and did the right thing. Well, PIX really put the whole thing together. And within minutes, they came up with this theory that there was some reference to Nassau County Police Department. There were addresses in Nassau County, and they just right there, right in front of us, they came up with the theory that this must be Nassau County police records that were not destroyed correctly. Not destroyed correctly indeed. In fact, PIX11 has learned now the Nassau County Police Department is considering buying cross shredders, shredders that shred vertically and horizontally for all of its police units. And speaking of units, we've also learned that the so-called confidential confetti came from the police academy. And now the commissioner of the police department is considering disciplinary action against this police employee. Reporting live from outside police headquarters in Nassau County, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News. Jody.